We are standing here at an Electrify America DC fast charging here in Chicago, Illinois with my beautiful Ford Mustang Mach-E first edition in Grabber Blue. We are about to do a DC fast charging test from 1% to 100% after three years of owner of the ownership of my Ford Mustang Mach-E. I wanted to do this test because, you know, there's been some numerous updates that was done to the vehicle. Also, after driving about a good 65,000 miles with, the, with my Mustang Mach-E, we want to see how the charging curve is now and how long does it take to charge from 1% to 100%. And then we're gonna be doing everything with my phone, with my GoPro camera. We're gonna be documenting as much as we could and then take it from there. Hello everybody, my name is Merch Batista and this is Charging the Road. Now a couple things to note here. First of all, I've already driven the car for about a good three, uh, three hours driving around the city so the battery itself is already nice and toasty. Now even though the car says the battery is at 1% state of charge with two miles left into the range, I plugged in my car scanner and it shows different otherwise. It's actually a 5.6% state of charge with 4.63 uh, kilowatt hour. I think I've read that right. If I'm wrong, it, you'll see it right here. But anyways, those are the actual stats of what the car is reading for the high voltage battery. That being said, we're gonna go ahead and charge the car from 1% to 100%. We're gonna see how the charging curve is and how long it actually takes to charge to 100%. And just so to be clear guys, I'm just arriving literally at 1% state of charge and as you guys can see that, but 1% state of charge with two miles left into the battery range. However, the stats shows different otherwise. It says I have about 5% state of charge in the, 5% um, state of charge with about four, uh, 468 kilowatt hour left in the battery pack. Now we have the GoPro camera ready to go. We're gonna see how the charging curve behaves between the kilowatts and how the battery percentage is and go for it. After three years, 65,000 miles plus, three years of ownership and all, and a lot of over the air software updates to improve the charging curve in the Mustang Mach-E. Also, as of this recording, it is actually May 2024 for my 2021 Ford Mustang Mach-E. So again, we're gonna get this all started. Now, before we're gonna be plugging this in, I actually have a couple free sessions with Electrify America. So I'm gonna give them a call, get that activated and get my free charging session. All right, after calling Electrify America to get my complimentary session, we are now charging. We are up now at 4% state of charge and the current speed right now is at 124. Charging time has started, like I said. So we're gonna be here and until we reach all the way to 100%. So that way we'll know how long it actually takes to charge from, I guess from 2% um, to 100%. Now during my charging session, I'm going to keep the vehicle off this whole time. The car will be completely off, no radio, no climate control. So that way everything will go straight to the battery without wasting a single kilowatt. That being said, we're gonna stick around and we'll do, uh, we'll do uh, increments updates and see how the charging session is going so far. All right, we are just now in 10 minutes of the charging time and we're now at a 25% state of charge. We're pulling in 107 kilowatts and the session itself is actually going quite good. You know, going from 2% to 25% in 10 minutes. Um, that's, I think that seems a little typical. It's not, it's actually not quite not bad. Um, definitely uh, a slight improvement from, from the very beginning when I got the Mach-E. All right, now we are at 51% state of charge. So far, it has taken us 24 minutes to get to 51%. And at this current time right now, we are at 78, per, uh, 78 kilowatts pulling into the battery. And the amount of energy delivered is about 42, which is pretty much about halfway to what the car can accept at the current moment right now. But it's looking pretty good. 
Okay, we got an 80% update. It took us about 44 minutes to get from 2% to 80%. Normally, it would take about 45 minutes from 10% to 80%. So, the looks like the charging curve has definitely improved a little bit here. And we're now, we are right now pulling in 38 kilowatts into the battery. Now, the, now the temperature outside has dipped a little bit somewhat. It's actually in the mid-50s out here in Chicago. But so far, the, uh, the energy is looking pretty good. All right, so now we have officially reached the 80% state of charge. Now, in the video up here, you guys might have a look at it, I talk about why it's important to not charge, not DC fast charge to 100%, and you typically want to stop at 80%, maybe 90% max. Well, first of all, uh, once you reach the 80%, majority of the electric vehicles out there, uh, your kilowatts would be dipping. As demonstrated here, it went from 69 kilowatts to down to 38 kilowatts. Uh, reason being is so the battery can cool down and so prevent, prevent the battery from exploding. But there has been many people here in the Chicagoland area, actually even not even just Chicagoland area, just about everywhere, uh, people just DC fast charging to 100%, which is a big no-no. And again, explaining in the video here um, that uh, is actually bad for the battery if you were to do a DC fast charging to 100%. But that being said, it also takes longer to charge from 80% to 100%. And so we're actually gonna be calculating how long it actually takes to get from 80% to 100% in the final results. So um, we're gonna be sticking around here for a little bit longer and hopefully uh, see what the final results is to get to 100%. All right, so we are just pulling in at 76 minutes of charging time we're at 99 percent state of charge i know i said before earlier that sometimes uh electrify america stops me at 93 percent looks like we are going th for the full 90 99 to 100 percent state of charge and right now we're only pulling in 10 kilowatts now dipping it down to nine between nine flipping looks like it's flip-flopping <laughs> between nine and ten but we're gonna get the full results too coming out of the uh, the gopro camera but i want to give you guys this really quick update before the uh before the charging officially ends but yeah we're at 77 per, uh, 77 minutes 99 percent state of charge and then it looks like we're at 85 uh kilowatts delivered now the battery pack on the maki on my maki 2021 first edition supposed to be 88 kilowatt battery pack so um so we'll, we'll see it should start it should stop really momentarily all right, we have just finished our charging session, just as I predicted. Um, the charging session time took one hour and 30 minutes, which is 30 minutes, uh, half an hour less, 30 minutes less than charging a Chevrolet Bolt EUV, which just so happened to be charging next to me. And total energy delivered about 86.5 kilowatts, which is right around where it needed to be. Estimated charge took it all the way to 100%. And if you guys are curious, the total ses the total the total cost for this session, if you were to pay for full price, would be forty one dollars and forty seven cents at forty eight cents per kilowatt hour. But because my session was actually complimentary, I don't pay squat. We're gonna unplug because we are done and be done with it. Now, the one thing I did wanted to mention real quick too. Um, you know how I mentioned that it's when you're doing DC fast charging, it's ideal that you unplug at 80% state of charge because as previously mentioned that once you reach the 80%, the, 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 uh, the, the charging rate dips down. So you've seen that, that went from 69 kilowatts to, uh, 38 kilowatts. Now, just to be fair, from 80% to roughly around 93%, it did stay between 38 and 41 kilowatts. However, the timing that took from 80 from from 80% to 100% was roughly around 46 minutes. That's actually two minutes longer than if you were to charge from 2% to 80%. That's why it's always ideal, and I highly recommend. If anything, this is more of an etiquette thing to do is to just unplug after 80% state of charge, especially if the charging site is getting full. Now, if it's like super late at night, like I am right now, then, you know, if you need or or if you need the extra juice.
if you need the extra miles for the longer trips or for the trips or for like trips that don't have uh, electric vehicles charging stations, then by all means, go ahead and charge to 100%. But this is more of an etiquette kind of thing. Unplug after 80% if you're doing DC fast charging. Okay, we have just finished our charging session. It's actually past 12.30 in the morning here in Chicago. Uh, temperatures has definitely uh, dropped down to like about 50 degrees or 48 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, but real quick, just to kind of recap what we, we've uh, what we've done here is we started at 2% state of charge. Took it all the way to 100% state of charge for um, for uh, just for your DC fast charging. This is just strictly for content creation, just to show you guys exactly how long does it take to charge your Mustang Mach-E from. 2% essentially to 100%. This session took one hour and 30 minutes, which is 30 minutes less than a Chevrolet Bolt EUV. I'll leave the video up there so you guys can check it out. And then let's go ahead and check out the GoPro camera to see what kind of uh, charging curve that this thing captured because, and then we're gonna have a look at the charging curve through the GoPro camera. Now, my first initial thoughts is with all the software updates that's, that the vehicle has been receiving over the last three years, I can definitely tell you that the charging curve has definitely improved a lot. Because I remember when the Maki -E first came out, it took two and a half hours to charge from zero to zero percent to one hundred percent. So this has been a big improvement so far, thus far. And um, even though it's still one of the slower charging vehicles, way better than the Chevrolet Bolt. I'll tell you that for sure. But um, at the end of the day, it's looking pretty good. Let's have a quick look at the GoPro camera. All right, so now we have started a charging session with Electrify America, and already we're pulling in about 124 kilowatts, 125 actually, in fact. And within a matter of three minutes, we're already at 10% state of charge. And then right there, you get a peak of 127. Normally, you get a peak about 150 or 160 with the formats and my key. But because we started into the deep into the battery pack, that's how much we're able to get. And then it shoots down to 112 kilowatts as done previously before. That's just the nature of the beast of the battery pack for the Mustang Mach-E, as it's always, it's always which has always been done uh, since day one. But now as we're approaching to 25% state of charge, that took us only 10 minutes, which is quite impressive as far as the overall improvements and performance with the Ford Mustang Mach-E charging curve. And that's already pulling in about 24 kilowatt hour back into the battery pack. All right, so now at this point, the battery the battery is now pulling in like less than less than 100 kilowatts, right around 34, 35% state of charge. But from there, it stays uh, pretty much consistent all the way for, for a little while longer. And so as we're approaching to 20 minutes charging time with this session, we're up pretty much around 43 to 45% state of charge. This is something that um, where you want to just continuously start, continuously charge all the way up to 80%. And again, we're starting deep into the battery pack. And so now we're approaching 50% state of charge. The um, the battery is only being is only pulling about 78, 77 kilowatts. As you can see that it was dipping down from 96 to 76. Again, this is because we have started deep into the battery pack. So one of my suggestion is, is to start charging your Mustang Mach-E anywhere between 20% to 10% state of charge. That way you can maximize your time and utilize for the amount of range and so forth. Now we're approaching the 30 minutes into the charging session and we're already up 61% state of charge from 2%. Normally when I go on a road trip, I usually just charge up to 30 minutes so that way I'll have enough range to get to the next charging uh, station and spend less time waiting around, unless of course you need a power nap, especially if you're going on long road trips where uh, the distance is long and you're also driving late at night, like I sometimes I do. So now we're approaching the 70, we're pretty much at 71% state of charge. The vehicle's still pulling in about 80 kilowatts. It's been pretty steady for a little while now, which is quite impressive for, you know, with the overall performance and also the improvements that the Mustang Mach-E has been receiving, receiving over the last three years. Now, as we're actually approaching the 45 minutes, before, it used to be 10% to 80%, and that will always took about 45 minutes. Now we're at 80%, that only took about 43 minutes from 2%. Now at this point here, once they reach the 80%, that's when the kilowatts rate, uh, that's when the kilowatts actually dropped down from 70 to 
38. Normally it'd be right around 41 kilowatts pulling in into the battery pack. And at this point right now, 50 minutes into the charging session, we've already delivered 71 kilowatt hour back into the battery pack. So now this is where it starts to take longer. From 80% trying to reach to 100%, it's going to take just the same amount of time as you were to charge from 10% to 80%. This is one of the reasons why I always recommend to pull, to, uh, to, to be done fast charging at 80%. Now, if you do want to cheat a little bit, which sometimes I kind of do, I would stop at 90% like we're at right now. Now, if we're counting the charging time from 2% to 90%, that's pretty much an hour right off the bat right now. And as you can see right now too, 42 kilowatts are still being pulled into the battery, which is quite good, which has been a big improvement. And right there, that's where I kind of freaked out a little bit. I'm not sure exactly what happened there. Um, I think um, the vehicle was getting a little tired of getting the energy or so forth, but reading pretty much right around at 95%, that's when it started dipping down to 26 kilowatts. And then from there, that's when it kind of goes downhill. Now, my GoPro camera, unfortunately, ran out of juice right before it hit 98% uh, state of charge. But I do have some little bit of bonus uh, footage to show where we're at at 99% state of charge. All right, so now that the vehicle is at 99% state of charge, look how much the vehicle is only charging at four kilowatts which is actually lower than a level two charging session but i think even then that's when it starts to pull in less that's because we're pretty much reaching to the very tail end of the battery pack itself and then so forth you can see that the charging time lasted for 90 minutes and we're pretty much just about done charging here all right, so there you have it, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you guys like the channel, don't forget to hit like button and subscribe to the channel for more EV content, guys. Until next time, have a good one and stay smashing.